Welcome. I would like to give you a brief breakdown on one of the updates of the last version of MathCAD Prime, the API Guide. You'll see how to access it, a summary of its content, and an example. By pressing F1 in your MathCAD worksheet, you'll be driven to MathCAD Help. In the What is new in PTC MathCAD Prime 7 section, by clicking on the plus sign to extend it, you'll see, among others, the API Guide. It provides a good starting point on discovering and learning about how to use the MathCAD API. The information reflected in it is to be found under Related Topics, API Guide, and it begins by explaining firstly what the application programming interface is, respectively a mechanism for communicating with MathCAD Prime from another Windows app, including custom standalone apps that you can write. In this way, you can integrate MathCAD with other API-enabled third-party applications. After, this guide describes the ranking of automation classes, their properties, methods, and events that allow you to do several types of actions. You can open worksheets, change variables, run calculations, obtain results, and save your work using the API commands. It also consists of a collection of code examples using many languages such as C++, C Sharp, VB, Java, these are available for download, which means that you can also inspect their code to see how they were constructed and even use them to help you build your own customized projects. These examples demonstrate the API capabilities and further will open one of them to this purpose. Example 9, JavaScript, runs through a series of APIs that exercise typically end-user functions. It shows you how you can make custom API calls, such as setting titles, getting input and output values, changing values and units. We'll now run the executable and describe its progress in the MathCAD worksheet and a little bit in its code. The first thing it does is to activate MathCAD. We click OK and then PTC MathCAD Prime opens. If not already opened in our case, a window script host notification window opens to inform you that PTC MathCAD Prime started successfully. Click OK to dismiss this window. Now, the API opened a test worksheet. In the notification window, we see the number of input regions in the worksheet and the alias for the first input. In the code, this part is currently used. Open the worksheet. In the worksheet, observe the two input regions that define the input 1 and matrix input 1 variables. The value for input 1 will be overwritten. Note also that the value of output 1 is currently of 90 kilograms. OK. Then a notification window opens informing you the API uses the setRealValue method to change input 1 from 45 kilograms to 12.2341 kilometers. So you can change the values, but also their attached units if needed. Click OK and the value of input 1 changes. Back in the code, this is the part where we get our first input. In the notification window, we see the output regions in the worksheet and the alias for the first output. Then, it informs you that the API uses the getValue method to read the new value of output 1. So the result changes to 2.447 times 10 at the fourth power meters, since meters is the default unit but we can change it to kilometers in order to visualize better our results. The fact that input 1 multiplied by 2 will be output 1. Matrix output 1 remains the same as matrix input 1, and it's easy to see why from its definition. Click OK. The last window provides two messages to inform you what happens next depending on the MathCAD status. In MathCAD, a prompt appears asking you to confirm you want to save the changes you made to the test worksheet. Click Don't Save to close the worksheet and close MathCAD Prime. 